In today's video I'm going to be printing and installing the Minimus hot end cooler on my printer. I also installed a second cooling fan, but that did not go to plan. Stay with me to see what happened. The Minimus hot end cooler is designed by Paul Elrod, aka Rogue Designs. The files used to cost money, but it's completely free now. Big thanks and kudos to Paul for that. I won't be going in depth about the features and advantages of the cooler today, but Ricky Impe has a great explanation on it here on YouTube, and that's a much better explanation than I could ever do. So if you want to know how it works, you should go watch his video, link in the description. The hot end cooler consists of a few different parts. First you have the back plate. Then you got the main unit itself. And the fan ducts to direct the airflow towards the nozzle. I also printed an armadillo, which is this handy thing you can wrap around the wires for better cable management. Now that I got all the parts printed, it's time to put everything together. I'll also be installing another cooling fan for better cooling performance. To take off the stock hot end cooler, I had to undo this bolt on the back and cut a few cable ties. I had to pull and twist it a little bit, but then it came off. I could then take out the fans and put the plastic hot end cover away. In order to install the Minimus backplate, I had to remove the hot end itself, so that's what I'm doing here. I could now put on the backplate and reinstall the hot end. The cool thing about Paul's design is that it doesn't require any bolts or screws. Everything just slides and snaps into place. The question is, how is this fan going to get power? After making 100% sure both fans were the same voltage, I decided to solder the wires of the second fan to the wires of the first fan. And that was a big mistake as you'll see in a minute. Okay, so I've run into a slight problem, or a massive problem actually. Look at this. The steppers have completely stopped working. Look at this. I don't know what to do. Slightly panicked. But I'll try to figure something out. So having the second fan wired up to the first fan made them pull too much current through the motherboard which fried some little component on there probably which caused it to yeah not work but i ordered a new motherboard and i got it replaced installed it's working again i'm just going to remove this fan I cut off this little part. I preferably have a fan less with a working printer than two fans on a broken printer. So that's it for this video. I'm by no means criticizing Paul's or Ricky's work. I should have put in more research before just soldering the fan wires together. I hope someone watching can learn from the mistakes I made so you won't have to make them. That's all. Have a great day everyone.